Like we're, we're just talking about but we, trying to find. But we kind of are because De- because Devin Haney is the best right now in that weight class. And you got Javante, you got Shakur, yeah. and, and I mean, and those aren't even. That's you got more in that. Bro, honestly, that weight class is, is arguably the and best also, weight class in boxing. Did you see the fucking interview? It's an hour long. It took forty fucking minutes for the fuck uh, for Devin and uh, Ryan to talk. It took forty fucking minutes. That means I don't even know how many people talked before them. Like, why the yeah. fuck do we got to hear from all you guys before them? I well, it's a business, man. It, 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 yeah, it, you gotta sell it all again, what, again, again. You're, 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 you're on the get, undercard to, to get eyes. You want to be on the undercard to bring, skipped, to bring eyes. I skipped 42 minutes. So you ain't He's probably not even talking about. Are you talking about people that were on the, are the, on the undercard? Or yeah, because because so usually they about, have the undercard I'm speak about the, first. The, the interview, whenever they had the when the interview, yeah, that, uh-huh. that sit down where they where he said where he called his out his name. Is this them at the press conference? Like after weigh in conference, bro. Fucking. Everybody in their fucking mom talks before the fighter, dude. But they wouldn't do weigh in so yet. That's what I was asking. Is the other fighters? Because that's what Paul's saying. There or was, was no it fight. promoters? It was just, oh, it was just, just people. Devin, oh, shit. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. what I figured it was. The Devin Haney I, I, I thought, the I thought, I thought it was the card team. promotion. Yeah. Yeah. It was so just, what that is. Team, Ryan Garcia team. So then to get back to the what I was saying initially. So what that is, is people... Building their business off of the back of Ryan Garcia. Yes, and, which like, you got to cut those motherfuckers out your team, bro. No, yeah. well, get and them also, out of your team. They're not well, for some you. Some of them are. Some of them literally are your team, and you're beholden to them. Like Oscar De La Hoya, for example. Like I'm sure he's one of them that spoke, right? I imagine. Yeah, hundred sure. yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, the thing is, they and once the fighter gets to where they build a big enough brand, once this is kind of all about brands to a certain extent. Once they get to that level, then you have where the fighter, you know, make leave you so while you have the eyes because you have ryan garcia and you're stable you got devin haney, haney uh who's fighting ryan garcia you got to make the most of it you got to build your business off that get more fighters i feel, I feel you i feel you it's bullshit but that's the that's the business of boxing and business. that's why but and that's why about. ufc is really gaining if hasn't already like far surpassed boxing in my in my opinion honestly it has no. um it's in in why dana is so protective over that league kind of like feel yeah. is because he controls all that only person that even needs to talk is dana because it's the whole promotion well you uh, know what's crazy with ufc between his like, own fighters you know, yeah. yeah they fight every saturday but dude i'm locked in fucking almost every day of the week like we got they, they dropped the the this um separate interviews they dropped the fucking you know um yeah they know how to build a fight Whatever it is, yeah. the vlogs and shit. The, 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 that's what I'm saying. The yeah, them on social media, they they, they promote then way they, better. Then they have, well, I mean, I, they also just have like this, the ability to like keep a story of like their fighters. Like UFC promotes mm-hmm. their fighters, boxing uses their fighters to promote boxing. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yes, yeah, hundred percent. No, no, you're one hundred percent correct. So technically, boxing is never going to outgrow the program until which, until they which, switch. Which, which in general, like, yeah, I mean. But not only that, I, I also think that, that the whole Jake Paul celebrity boxing thing kind of killed boxing a little bit. It, 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 it turned people off to boxing. You know, he just fought, right? Yeah, he just fought some bullshit. I was actually, that's like, one of the things it, like, I wanted to ask y'all because that felt like it didn't have the same kind of like because everyone's around over it. the bullshit. Well, I think it's his opponent. He's not fighting Tyron Woodley, Anderson yeah. Silva, or fucking Nate Diaz. Yeah, he's not fighting retired. Uh, out of no, out of well, the way out of the prime boxers. If you're building up as a boxer, though, this is kind of like the game a little bit. It's like you're gonna fight a lot of these guys. So he jumped the line a little bit as far as like stardom because his own stardom from people know him. Yeah. But then yeah. also fighting people that were bigger names, but not in the boxing. Uh, Could you imagine or whatever if you call the it, United sport. States had something like King of the Ring, like they do in the UK or, or New Zealand or wherever fuck uh, King of the Ring is? You go there and it's looking like it's a tournament. Mm-hmm. You fight in a tournament and then you you maybe fight like three or four times a night and then you fucking win a belt. You know, that's all the best kickboxers in the world. Like if, oh, if yeah. you three, win that three times three fights, like like when you're getting hit in the head. In one night, yes. Well, they used to do shit like that, like pride. The the but the they still do that today, the King of the Ring. Yeah, for okay, sure. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Awesome. They well, used like, to do that though in, in in Pride and shit. They did that shit more or less for, for uh boxing. I'd probably watch that shit more. Yeah, I mean I also like violence. Boxing I think isn't a violent no, but I think boxing like is an art. Yeah, it's very. Like, I think things like that would be interesting. I don't think you can like, I don't think you can build your business model around that. But I think it would be interesting, like a Super Bowl, a WrestleMania, have an event basically yeah. one time a year yeah. where it's like you know you may have a King of the Ring event, yeah. and then you have anybody in the UFC well, or whatever can sign up for. Really cool that PFL does is they have fucking seasons and shit. Mm. So yeah. Technically, they they do kind of have like their tournament style, to, which brings them into their playoffs and then gives them the champion, which is cool. Yeah, they don't really just have that, you know, that much. Uh, yeah, so it's not like a, just a power ranking that they're yeah. kind of like matchmaking from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with UFC though, it, it, they just have such a talent pool to 
pull from. Um, I did want to ask y'all, and we can kind of move on from this. The, the, the there, uh, unfortunately, the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, we have gotten away from the boxing in that. And I guess I can ask y'all who you think is going to win. But I, I think like Devin Haney's. Like it's, it's, it's yeah, irrelevant. I think it's not even going to go nine, eight. I think it'll win it in five. I was going with Ryan until all this shit happened. I don't know what's going on. Real shit. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't put money on Ryan through this. I don't want. By and, the way, you have something in your last time you said you didn't know that you had a thing yeah, no, in your nose. So no, I was making no, sure. I didn't know. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Just make sure. But because last time I saw it's it, I, keep losing I saw it and I didn't say anything. Then afterwards, you told me like, "Damn, I had that in my nose the whole fucking time." So yeah, that was my the, bad. But but so but uh, De- Devin Haney isn't really even like looking at Ryan Garcia right now. Like like it, this is yeah. this is a stepping stone fight. They're they're gonna fight, and then Javante has to get out of his legal trouble, and then they're fighting. Like and that's the fight. I mean, and, and there's already been leaked. I think uh, Ryan leaked it. Where Javante Davis gave him some work, Devin Haney work in a spar match years so, ago. This I mean, was I, years ago. I, you know what? But whatever. I like Ryan. Ryan, I feel like Ryan's gonna win. But the one thing I will say about Devin sparring is, and I'm 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 with it. I'm not whooping your ass in sparring. I might even let you whoop my ass in sparring. So you not think, a spar match like that. So you think when you walk up out there, it's like, damn, I really got one up on him. And if we had to go and go like on money line type shit for like actual stats and for like a real record in front of some shit. It's like, bro, you played your something in that. Yeah, but 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 I, I get that in a, in a regular sparring match, like just during training. This was a Floyd Mayweather in the ring. Every both teams around the ring, probably money on the match. Yeah, a- everyone betting. Th- this is just a spar boxing bro, match. Your bro, on the bro, match. bro, bro. They were a. Hey, it was body shot central from from Javante. They were te- they were teeing off. They were trying to knock each other's heads off. But yeah. Javante Davis worked worked him. So it's like I, I don't know. I mean, we saw that. Around, that's going to be the more interesting fight. This is just a get it out of the way, and then I'm really interested to see how much more Shakur improves after his last fight where he didn't look so great. Um, and then try to see which of the three are are the best, man. I, yeah. I, again, it's a very exciting division of boxing, but I just One feel like people got to bring the love back. Ryan, I feel like most drug act thing he probably said was that he could fucking get in the UFC and beat Sean Mallon. Dude, that was dumb, <laughs> yeah, that bro. Shut crazy. up. So he's naturally gifted. Shut up. Well, and that, by the way, so that uh, like that's what I wanted to move into was uh, the Sean O'Malley fight. Sean O'Malley's fighting this weekend. Um, this whole fucking he's fighting, stack, baby. He's fighting Cheeto Vera. Um, I just want to ask you guys what your opinion is on it. Are oh, you yeah, excited for wait. the fight? So, uh, so, yeah, I sir. think Sean yeah. O'Malley, baby. I, I'm actually really excited for uh, O'Malley just to do his thing and kind of defend it, but I'm more excited for Kevin Holland and Michael Venom Page. I'm actually very excited yeah, about Michael Vinny. I'm pissed off. I mean, it's love and hate, but I'd re- it really sucks. I don't want Kevin Holland to lose. That's my yeah. dog. I fuck with him. But I don't want MVP to fucking lose on his first uh, yeah, that'd be lame. First match either, so it is yeah. what it is. I mean, but if Kevin Holland did something, I think that would... I really do think he can whoop his ass. Though. That would be huge for his career. Not whoop his though, ass, I but think. like pull it off with more experience, you know? Kevin MVP's Holland... is nasty. He's one of my favorite... UK fighter, fighters in general. Well, and Kevin Holland consistently has been getting huge fights. Yeah, so yeah. got to respect that. And I think, you know, after some of the tough fights that he's had recently against super tough opponents, this could I mean, be something really, yeah. Out of the yeah. last, I think, what was it? He only lost to Jack Delamena and then Cosmo. Cosmo, yeah. Those two are the top in the... And that's who's yeah. fighting too is Delamena and Gilbert oh. Burns. But oh. this weekend is so nice. When's, when's Cosmo fighting again? What's up with that? Uh, I don't know. I think See, he, what a card. See what a card, got, bro. And then, and, got, and, and then we got fucking UFC 300 next weekend. That's what I'm saying. And and and, and like to our conversation, these earlier, boxers are getting like, paid a fraction. Like and, and that's but yeah. and that's the mind blowing part is boxers. The top boxers make more than the top UFC fighters. Yeah. And then bro, a lot of these fighters are fighting in underground spots for respect, bro. Give me 10k. <laughs> give I'm me good. 10K. Give me 20k. Dog. Give me 50k. And guess yeah, what? If you want more me, money, get fight of the night. Get performance oh, of the night. Come on, man. What is wrong with that? Come fight on. more, bro. What's wrong Dana's, with that? How Dana's much does UFC move? Dana's incentive, da- bro. Bro. All, why is off, it? Off. Why is it people feel entitled to Nobody somebody's really work? Yell, no, 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 no. Why Nobody is it people yell feel? Right no, no, no. I'm just saying people feel entitled, like. Entitled? Who what do you mean entitled? Bro, let's let's tell define you. Let entitled tell you, brother. here. Let him tell you, brother. Nobody, him. nobody is making the money they're making now. Nobody's making this fifty grand right now. If Dana White and them aren't making their billions or millions, or bro, do you hear what you just said? <laughs> Billions.